Hi everyone, in this video I will build a minimus refueling station with room for a few kerbals and mining possibilities. First of two launches is to put the core of the station in a stable 25 km zero degree inclination orbit around Minmus. Except for this staging, the launch is rather routine, so let's talk about the payload. The core is composed of two ISRU refining thingies, a bunch of solar panels, a lab, a cupola, and lots of fuel tanks and docking ports. I forgot to disable crossfeed through docking ports, so I had to transfer the fuel back to the core. It is as tedious as it looks, but it gave me an idea for the second launch. Now that our first stage is off, we are able to circularize with the poodle. Solar panels are extending and I'm burning a little LCS at the same time to reduce the mass of the whole ship. Orbit is stable, it's time to fine tune this before we go to maneuver, burn, and let's go to Minmus. Same thing now that we are in Minmus sphere of influence, we have a maneuver, a burn, and that's a dirty 35 degrees orbit around Minmus. Inclination correction, thankfully we are in Minmus which has a very 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 low gravity so it doesn't take much of delta V to go back to almost a zero degree inclination which is what I wanted for this particular station. Let's fine-tune this baby so it has to have the closest to a perfect orbit and there we are. Now let's go for the second launch. This payload is a lot heavier. It has four branches which all contain living quarters for our kerbals. It has a mining ship in the middle, which has a poodle itself, and there is also a satellite on the top, which is contained within the fairings. Again, that's a regular launch, nothing really exciting. Now that our apoapsis is high enough, we can ditch two of the four branches. Each of those branches is composed of two orange tanks and a mainsail, so that's a lot of mass, and 
by dropping 2 and keeping 2 we are still pretty stable and we are a lot 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 less heavy. Ok, it's time to pump the fuel into the payload and to disable the fuel crossfit. Now we have to circularize, fine tune these orbits and we will try to do something nicer resulting in a trajectory that is not as bad upon arrival as main moves as our previous launch was. Ok, our payload tanks are full and we still have about 300 meters per second of Delta V in the stage that we not yet ditched, so we will use those as to do our injection burn and we will do it in two times and we'll save a lot of fuel in the payload by doing so. A two time injection burn is harder to do than a regular one but it will save us a lot of fuel in our payload and we will have a little more margin if we screw up something along the way. First burn is done, let's ditch those two empty branches and enable crossfit again on the last stage. Let's go around cabin one last time to do the final burn with the small poodle of the mining ship. And we are off! Ok, so this time our maneuver was not as bad and our inclination is not as bad either and a small correction should do it. Let's plan the rendezvous, it's fairly easy when you do it with a highly eccentric orbit such as this one and when you have RCS to help. Ok, so we have an intersection, we just have to kill the relative velocity at the right time and we will be able to perform our dockings in a row. Each living quarter part has a probe, a battery RCS thrusters and a bit of RCS so it has to do this particular maneuver that will have to be repeated four times. Let's fast forward a little because it's four times the same thing and for once no accident happened so kind of boring you know if nothing explodes.
Sorry about doing all of this in the dark, but I actually forgot that I was recording at the time. Our four living quarters are securely docked to the station, it's now time for the mining ship and I'll simply detach the poodle from the core of this station to reveal another docking port. Let's use our RCS to move a little towards our target and from the free poodle. I don't want it to come back crashing into the station, I didn't like gravity at all. Turn the station around. And now that we are lined up, let's detach our mining ship. Thrust a little towards the station, it's a lot heavier than the living quarters. Also, before I forget, let's open the fairings and extend the solar panels on the satellites and it will not run out of power this way. Okay, it's finally time to dock this mining baby. It's coming very, very fast, so I have to thrust backwards a lot. Can hold quite a lot of hull, but the ESRU thingy are on the core itself, so it's important to land on Minmus with full fuel tanks or not to mine too much, or because there will not be enough Delta V to go back to the station otherwise. And we are docked. Okay, so it's time to put our satellite in a 90 degrees polar orbit. And uh, that's pretty easy to do because I can use the station orbit, which is a zero degree reference to do so. Now Minmus is surveyed. And let's go for a little mining session. Okay, from the surveying, the crater flat seems like a good place to land our ship because first it's flat and second it has a lot of ore.
lend this beauty. Okay, we can start mining this precious ore. A few trips like this should be enough to completely fill the station with both ore and fuel. And that will be a lot of help for future interplanetary missions. I'll see you next time.